Okie dokie, so, hello buddy! <laughs> oh, no, don't touch that, Jesus Christ! Come on, out the way! So about four years ago, I said I was going to record loads of videos of me making sides, and then whenever I make sides, I'm like, nah, it's too easy! Don't need to record a video of this, and then that means that four years on, I've not actually recorded any videos. So, with that in mind, I'm going to make some street corn. I've never done this before, but I reckon it's going to be dead nice. So what we're going to do is, I've got my plancher, which I've got with just a nice fire on the inside, just some gnarly old oak, doesn't need to be a good smoking wood. I've got, oh, you think you wouldn't feel the heat through these. So, I've got me lovely high air pen in there. I'm going to wang some butter, get it nice and schmelty. I'm going to throw into there a couple of cans of corn. The idea is we're going to darken it down, not so it's super hot like popcorn, so that it just chars a little bit. If we were in the streets of Mexico or LA or Texas or somewhere more exciting than Salford, we'd be using like proper corn cobs right over the coals. Couldn't actually get corn cobs in the shop, so we're using corn from the can. This is going to take a second to do its thing and get warm. I'll use this time to stoke me fires. I had a pile of wood somewhere. Yes. So it's a real fine balance to be found with fire cooking where you kind of if you didn't want it too hot, ripping dangerously hot, you'd just cook it in your kitchen, wouldn't you? So we need to get it to a point where it's like too hot, but not like too hot, if you get me. Now, this wood is probably sitting at about 40% moisture, there or thereabouts. So it's not ready to smoke with, but I can definitely build a ripping hot fire with it. When it's a little bit green like this, that's when it'll take a while to catch and then when it catches it pushes out loads of heat right at the same time perfect for plancher cooking like this so I was thinking about that American guy you know the one who's like got a private jet he's a televangelist and he's got the eyes of the devil inside oh. of him standing over a pulpit <laughs> let me just make it hotter there we go. So at this point, I'm just waiting for it to push all of its moisture out so that the cellulose around the outside will start to blister. When you start to get that sort of blackness around the outside just as it's cooked and starting to burn, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients in, mix it in, stick it on the side. That's all we're going to do to it. For this street corn today, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add a bunch of fresh mayonnaise, a fresh lime, I'm going to add some finely sliced red onion, radishes for colour and pepper. I'm not going to cook them, I'm going to add them at the end so they're raw and crispy and crunchy. Fresh coriander, mix it all together, look at the colours, and that's it, street corn. Lovely little side, took fuck all effort to make. Probably shouldn't say fuck all effort, should I? It's a family nope. channel. Is it bollocks? I'm Chef Danger, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more <laughs> quick lazy recipes to do in the garden while your friends very patiently wait for you to stop talking. <laughs>